Dun, 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 the final moment of let's see how this autocrat will actually end up working. So before we hit run, one thing I want to show you where, how can we tell what autocrat is doing? If you scroll all the way sideways on your spreadsheet, autocrat has added some new columns to your document. So there's merged ID. So for now, it just kind of almost looks like gibberish. But these columns you can't, you should not delete or mess with. But this is where you'll be able to tell how is Autocrat working. It's going to have all the data from this process showing up here. So what you can do is if you want to see, does my template work out? Is it going to work? There is a preview button. So I'm going to click on preview. So preview. This does take a little while because what it's actually doing, it's making a document and then it will delete it. Um, let's see. Building preview. Let's see. And also, I will say the preview is not always 100%. Some of the formatting might be slightly off, but it really gives you the main, like, did you do it correctly or not? So, all right. So everything in blue was what that kid had typed in. So everything that Colin said was here in blue. He got that one right, this one wrong. So this is essentially what he's going to see. Okay. And so you can tell, oh, yeah, my template's looking okay, or, ooh, there's something I should fix. And there's the final score. So everything's in there. So you can decide, okay, looks good. If you hit next, that'll show you the next student because it might be, oh, that student they weren't a good example. The next one wrote a whole ton. Maybe I should compare with them or see how it works out. So previous and next, we'll kind of jump through the next student. So it is actually having to think about what if I made this document completely. Ah, so yeah, this kid spaced things out more. And so then that's how it's going to look. It looks a little bit odd, but because of the blue, then you can tell, oh, I guess that is what he had written. So just kind of things to think about. How do you want it to be laid out or not? Okay. So once you're done, you can just click on the X. And if we're ready to merge, we're ready to go. So if you need to go back and edit something in terms of the actual settings of Autocrat, you can say edit merge and go back and try to fix the tags. Or you can always go back and you can change the template while it's running and it will automatically change for everybody else subsequently. So you still have your template. All right. So here's the moment of truth. When you say run merge, it is going to start actually making these documents for each of the students. So let's see, run merge, preparing to merge. Think, 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 think. So potential jobs. So it looked through my whole spreadsheet. And, oh, there's oh, there's 11 rows, okay, of data. And it's creating it. Ah, it just made the first document. So it has the ID of that document, which you can use as part of the file name at the top. It has a link to the URL to the document. Here's a pretty looking link. It says, oh, here's the bill that I merged for this student. And it has this data. And actually, I'm going to select this whole column and wrap the text so we can see. Oh, that's kind of big. Um, so we can tell it has the actual date and time. Here's when it was. It was editing it, sending it to the student. I changed these emails so it's not actually, if, you have, if you're using legitimate emails, but actually send an email to them, I changed those. There's no actual student account named Colin at PBSD Camarillo, so it's not going anywhere. But it, it will tell you when is it sending it, who is it sending it to. So it's going through, and we can scroll down. Oh, oh wow, it's almost done. It's got two left. And then we can, oh, one more left. Ten rows merged. And it's down to the last one, 11 of 11. And now it's done. And it saw that, okay, all the rest of the, the column was all blank. So we're done. We can say, okay. And you can close out. You're all done. So how do I see? Oh, my. Right. So you can click on each of these individual links. All right, we can see what that one is. Or what you can do is go back to your folder that we created, the Bill Nye Feedback Results. And when you open up that folder, here's the list of all the documents it just created. It's got, and because we put the username, I can tell at a glance whose it is. If I hadn't had that part, then it would just say Bill Nye the Moon Feedback. So that's why it's useful to have the names on there. And if we open one of them up, we can either draw I'll open it up. Here's this one. Let's look at Dominic's. And see, it's got his results. All of his answers are in there. And this would be actually be shared with Dominic because we added that said add it with that username. So each of these would be shared with that student directly. So they would be able to edit it and it's with each of those students. If you want to go through and look at the whole set of them, you can use the eyeball to preview and that will just show you at a glance. Oh, there's Matthews, his results. You click on the next. There's Kyan, there's Alyssa. So you can kind of just go through and see the overall results. And that's the basics on how to use Autocrat. Um, it does, it, the first time going through all those settings does take a little while. It can be a little bit unsure, but once you, as you start doing it and it, yeah, it is a long process, but as you do it more and more, it will become a little bit more automatic and more just a useful tool. Like, oh, hey, I guess I can use that to send documents out to students. When the students get it, how are the students going to know? They'll find it in their shared with me folder. Let's zip this close. Come on. Close. In their shared with me is where they're going to be able to look to find it. So you might tell them, to show, look in your share with me, or if you're talking with a specific student, you can give them this link 
send them there directly and say, here, click on this link, this will go to your document. So however you'd like to do it. Um, good luck. Please feel free to email me if you have questions or if anything I said was too fast and didn't make sense. But good luck. Start using Autocrat.